the primate family encompasses a diverse range of intelligent and resourceful creatures that continuously astonish us with their cognitive abilities. Monkeys and primates in particular demonstrate exceptional problem-solving skills and display remarkable intelligence in various aspects of their lives. Join me as we delve into the world of these incredible creatures and explore the top 15 most genius monkeys and primates. Number 15. Golden Lion Tamarin Found in the coastal forests of Brazil, the golden lion tamarin is a beautiful reddish-orange species that's the largest of its type, but it is still relatively small, with a body that measures around 10 to 11 inches, or about 25 to 28 centimeters tall, and weighing just 1.4 pounds or 620 grams. With a dark, hairless face, the rest of their bodies are covered with a thick coat of fur, and on their hands and feet they have unusually claw-like nails that allow them to climb trees. In many ways, they move more similarly to squirrels than they do to other primates, and they're rarely seen on the ground. Instead, they spend their lives clambering through the forest canopy in search of insects and fruits, and they build their sleeping dens in natural hollows in trees or within dense vines. They have preferred foraging sites within their territory, and usually form social groups of between two to eight members, where there will be a dominant male and female that make up the only breeding pair. They are highly territorial and will fight other groups that encroach on their space, but if they encounter a single golden lion tamarin, they may instead welcome them into their group instead. With habitat destruction and people hunting them for their fur, they're now classed as being an endangered species. But things are improving. In the 1980s, it was thought that there were less than 200 of them remaining in the wild, but a concerted effort to protect them has allowed their numbers to increase, and the latest estimate is that there are now around 3,200. Number 14. Mantled Guareza The mantled Guareza, which is also commonly known as the Eastern Black and White Colobus, is a species that's native to regions across Central Africa, in countries like Cameroon, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Chad. They're normally found in forests and savanna woodlands, usually at altitude and close to a water source, and are easily identified by their unique long white fringes of hair that run along either side of their back typically growing to around 24 inches or 61 centimeters tall, not including the tail, and weighing about 30 pounds or 13 and a half kilos. They live in groups of up to 15 individuals, which makes it far easier for them to fend off attacks by predators such as chimpanzees, leopards, and birds of prey. They spend most of their time in the trees, eating leaves, fruits, and bark, but will occasionally venture onto the forest floor if they spot something that's worth investigating or need to travel to a different area. Groups of mantle guarezas have a fascinating social hierarchy, and while there will be one dominant male that's fought its way to the top, the females are instead equal and show no signs of dominance or subservience. Unlike other species, they aren't particularly territorial either, and will tolerate other groups as long as they don't venture too close to certain core areas like where they sleep. When they do decide to stand up for themselves or need to communicate, they'll let out an almighty roar that's so loud you can hear it from up to a mile away through the dense forest. Number 13. Panamanian White-Faced Capuchin One of the most famous and popular monkeys thanks to their inquisitive nature and cute appearance, the White-Faced Capuchin is native to forested regions of Central America, mainly in Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, and further south into Colombia. Mostly black, but with a pink face and white fur on the front of the body, they typically grow to between 13 and 18 inches, or about 33 to 46 centimeters long, not including the tail, and weighing around 9 pounds or 4 kilos. It's a highly adaptable species that can move between different types of forest and have a broad diet made up of anything from fruits and plants to insects and fish. Troops can have as many as 20 individuals, and they're definitely up there as some of the most intelligent of all, often seen using tools and even weapons to get food. They've been seen rubbing plants over their bodies after being injured as a form of rudimentary herbal medicine, making them one of only a handful of species in the animal kingdom that do this. They're also an extremely noisy species of monkey, known for their barks, coughs, and squeals, all of which are used for long-distance communication. Each type of threat, for example, will elicit its own type of call, so members of the group in the surrounding area will know the exact type of danger that others have encountered. They also rely on using facial expressions and releasing scents to communicate with those close by, and have a peculiar behavior called urine washing, where they rub urine onto their feet, the purpose of which is not yet known. Number 12. Western Gorilla The Western Gorilla is one of two types of gorilla species and are found in Western Africa in countries such as Angola, Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. 
There are actually two subspecies, the Westland Lowland Gorilla, of which there are believed to be about 95,000 in the wild, and the critically endangered Cross River Gorilla, which lives on the border between Cameroon and Nigeria, of which there are only thought to be 300 left. With black or dark gray hair, which is slightly brown around the face, they can grow to just under 6 feet or 176 centimeters tall, and the males will weigh on average 370 pounds or 168 kilos. A large reason for this weight is, of course, their muscle mass, which gives them the strength to battle against other gorillas for dominance. Surprisingly, though, they aren't particularly territorial, and while they'll have a home range of between 3 and 17 square miles, or 8 and 45 square kilometers, different groups will often overlap. These groups will usually have four to eight members, and they follow the leader, called the silverback, in group tasks like traveling, nesting, and eating. Despite being known for relying on their strength, western gorillas are also extremely intelligent and have been seen to fashion tools out of branches to help find food. They also have complex communication abilities too, and in one study that was carried out in the 1970s, it was discovered that they're even capable of understanding basic sign language. Number 11. Ai Ai Probably the most bizarre or even frightening looking of all primates, the Ai Ai is a type of lemur that's native to Madagascar growing to around 2 feet or 60 centimeters long with a tail that's longer than their body. They're the largest of all nocturnal primates and are well adapted to finding food without using their eyesight. With extremely sensitive hearing, they use a process called percussive foraging, whereby they tap on different parts of a tree to locate a grub, then will gnaw through the bark to reach it and use their elongated middle fingers to reach in and grab it. For a long time, it's proved tricky to know how to classify the I.I. I. because it's got a number of traits you'd more associate with other parts of the animal kingdom. The main one is the way that their incisors continuously grow, like rodents, but this is something that's developed because they rely so heavily on chewing through tough material. Covered in fur that can be a range of different colors, I eyes aren't exactly popular with the locals in Madagascar and are generally seen as being harbingers of evil and death. It's this belief that's the main reason these creatures are classified as being endangered, because to avoid any bad fortune they may bring, they're often killed on sight. Quite why this belief has proliferated over hundreds of years isn't exactly clear, because there are no known instances of them directly injuring people or destroying crops, but it's most likely purely to do with their strange appearance and how surprised you'd be if you encountered one during the night. Number 10. Katba Langer it's believed to be one of the rarest primates in Asia, if not the world. There are only around 70 Katbang langurs left in the wild. They're also known as golden-headed langur. They're native to Katba Island, which is near Halong Bay in Vietnam, and are identifiable by their black skin and fur across most of their bodies apart from their heads and shoulders that develop a bright golden color. Their bodies grow to around 20 inches or about 50 centimeters long, with an extremely long tail that adds 33 and a half inches or about 85 centimeters. This proves useful around the limestone cliffs of the island where they live and lets them access parts that few other animals, apart from birds, are capable of reaching. This also, of course, means they're rarely anywhere that's accessible to humans by foot, so the chances of seeing one in the wild are remote. Despite this, the main reason why there are so few of them is because of hunting, and it's believed as many as 900 of them were killed in the 1970s and 80s, mainly to make medicines like monkey bomb. Part of the island is now a refuge that's protected by rangers, and in this area at least, the Katba Langer population has begun to recover, allowing researchers to study them in far greater detail than has been possible for a long time. Number 9. Japanese Macaque As the northernmost living non-human primates, often in places where temperatures fall below freezing, the Japanese macaque is the only natural species of monkey in the country and is often called the snow monkey growing to around 22 and a half inches or about 57 centimeters tall and weighing about 25 pounds or 11.3 kilos. They eat more to bulk up so they can keep themselves warm, so those from colder climates tend to be noticeably larger than others. This extra fat, along with their thick coats, mean they're able to cope in temperatures as low as negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 Celsius, and so can quite easily live in places where the ground is covered by snow for months on end. Troops of these monkeys are, interestingly, based on matrilineal hierarchies, which means that the females remain in the groups that they're born into, but the males will eventually move out and join another. The females have a structure based on dominance, with their place determined by the rank of their mothers, and a group can contain several lineages like this that, in turn, are ranked based on their perceived dominance. 
This is one of the most intelligent species of macaque, seen using tools and washing food before eating it, but it's their social activities that has made them so loved in Japan. It's not uncommon to see them bathing together in hot springs or rolling snowballs to throw at things, and researchers have even managed to prove that there are distinct accents in the sounds that they make, with ones from just a few hundred miles apart using different pitches in their calls. Number 8. Allen Swamp Monkey Found throughout the Congo Basin, in both the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Allen Swamp Monkey is a species that exists with its own biological genus and was named after American zoologist Joseph Asif Allen, who was the first to describe the animals to the international scientific community. Growing a body length of up to 24 inches or over 60 centimeters, and with a 20 inch or almost half meter long tail, males, which are larger, can weigh up to 13 pounds or 6 kilos, and are very strong for their size. In their rainforest habitat, they are active during the day and will form groups of up to 40 individuals. They communicate with each other through a number of methods such as sounds, gestures, and by touch, which are generally used to either warn of danger or to share where a food source is. They mainly eat fruit, leaves, and small insects like beetles and worms, and they are unusual in that they have slight webbing on their hands and feet, which means they are more adapted to swimming through water than most other monkeys, and they'll often be seen foraging in swampland. Because they live so deep in the jungle, very few studies have been possible to learn about their behaviors and habits in depth, but it's believed that in the wild they'll typically live for up to 23 years, as long as they don't fall victim to natural predators such as raptors, snakes, and bonobos. They are as well hunted by local communities for their meat, but as this has been a practice that's been carried out for hundreds of years, it's not been detrimental to their population numbers, and they're currently thought to be stable and thriving. Number 7. Olive Baboon Olive baboons, which you may also know as Anubis baboons, are the species of baboon that has the widest range of all, being found across Central Africa in at least 25 different countries, including Mali, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. They're highly adaptable, so will settle in a range of different habitats. And while they're typically said to prefer savannas, they're also known to happily live in forests and even on the outskirts of deserts. Growing to around 28 inches or 70 centimeters tall, they form groups of between 15 and 150 individuals, with each member having a defined rank within the social hierarchy. For those few males in each group, this is based on their strength, but for the females, it's based on their bloodlines, with daughters ranked at a similar level to their mothers. Interestingly though, despite this clear structure, groups of olive baboons don't simply do what the leader decides. Instead, there seems to be an almost democratic way of choosing where to go next, where several dominant members will need to agree on a direction before the majority will follow them. And it's during these times that their ability to communicate becomes clearest, because there'll be a cacophony of grunts and barks before they reach an agreement. One of the reasons that olive baboons have managed to spread across such a wide range is that they aren't fussy eaters, and as omnivores will eat practically anything edible that they come across. Sometimes though, groups can become too large for there to be enough nutrition to support everyone, and when this happens, they'll tend to split to form two smaller collectives permanently. Number 6. Red-Faced Spider Monkey the beautiful red-faced spider monkey is one of the most recognizable species from South America thanks to its long black hair that covers the entire body apart from the face, which has a contrasting red or pink color to it. This is something that develops over time, as newborns have darker faces, but they'll have substantially lightened by the time they're fully grown adults, at which point they can be up to 30 inches or 55 and a half centimeters long and weigh as much as 20 pounds or 9.1 kilos. They live almost exclusively in undisturbed primary forests, such as those found in northern Brazil, Guyana, and Venezuela, and have long prehensile tails, as well as strong fingers and limbs that let them swing from the branches and spend most of their lives high up in the tree canopy. Rather than staying in groups all the time, red-faced spider monkeys have what's called a fission-fusion society. This means that they'll join together in a band with up to 30 other individuals at nighttime so they can collectively protect each other. But during the day, they'll go on their own in search of food like termites, bugs, fruits, flowers, and honey. Number 5. Sooty Mangabe with body lengths of up to 35 inches or almost 90 centimeters and weighing as much as 24 pounds or 11 kilos, Sudi Mangabes are a species of monkey that's native to the tropical regions of Western Africa, in countries like Liberia, Guinea, Senegal, and the Ivory Coast. Taking on a mainly gray coloration, which is slightly lighter on their stomachs and chests, and pinker on their faces, they live in forested areas and will often be found alongside mangrove swamps. 
Despite being very good climbers, they spend more than three quarters of their time on the ground, both for traveling to new places and in search of food. Usually their diet is made up of fruits, nuts, and seeds, but on occasion they'll also eat small invertebrates and other interesting things they encounter. They are fairly vulnerable to a number of predators, including leopards, eagles, and chimpanzees, so they collect in groups between 70 and 120 individuals, not just for social interaction, but also so they can help protect each other. The highest-ranking males and females are rarely seen looking for food and are instead given their meals by other members so they can look out for threats and warn the others with the distinctive alarm call so there's time to escape. There's a whole range of other sounds they make too, and they are one of the most vocally active monkey species of all. Everything from playful chirps to twitters and mating grunts have been recorded, and if you ever venture into their territory, it's more than likely you'll hear them first before you see them. Number 4. King Colobus The King Colobus, which is sometimes also known as the Western Black and White Colobus, is one of the five Colobus species and is native to Western Africa in the Ivory Coast, Senegal, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Growing to around 26 inches or 67 centimeters tall, with a further 35 inches or 90 centimeters for the tail, they can weigh up to 22 pounds or 10 kilos, and are identifiable by the wisps of silvery hair around their faces and their white stripes on their shoulders. The name Colobus comes from the Greek word that means mutilated, and that's because members of this genus have short stumps where their thumbs would be expected to be. Quite why this is developed isn't entirely clear, and they are the only primates to have this. Eating mainly leaves, fruits, and flowers, it's an arboreal species but will usually only ever eat while on the ground, and they live in relatively small groups, which are made up of between one and three males and up to four females. The males can be highly aggressive when encountering others, particularly if another group has begun to encroach upon its territory. But rather than fight, they usually use territorial calling to ensure they all stay away from each other. Once prevalent in huge numbers, the King Colobus is currently classified as being endangered because of a mixture of habitat loss and, in the 19th century, large-scale hunting for their fur. They've proven to be very difficult to take care of in captivity too, so the only way they'll survive for generations to come is if parts of their natural habitat are protected against any outside interference. Number 3. Philippine Tarsier The Philippine Tarsier is arguably the cutest of all the primates and are found in the forests of the islands in southern Philippines. Growing to just 6.3 inches or 16 centimeters tall and weighing about 5.5 ounces or 160 grams, it's one of the smallest known primates and it's about the same size as an adult human fist. This of course means they're incredibly difficult to spot when they're sat in the trees and this helps them avoid being targets for predators. Unusually for primates, but like all other tarsiers, their eyes are actually fixed within their skulls, so the only way they can look around is by physically moving their heads. Their eyes are, though, the largest in proportion to the size of their body of any mammal, and this gives them brilliant vision during the nighttime when they're active. They feed mainly on insects like crickets, grasshoppers, and spiders, and they're a solitary species that will only meet up with others when it's time to mate, and once they have done, they'll go on their separate ways once more. Possibly the most surprising thing about tarsiers like this is that over the past 45 million years, they've lived within rainforests across the entire planet. Today, though, they're only found in the wild on a few islands in the Philippines, Borneo, and Indonesia, and are classified as being near-threatened, with their numbers in the low thousands. Number 2. Silky Shifaka One of the rarest of any mammal anywhere on the planet, the Silky Shifaka is a species of lemur that's only native to a very small region of northeastern Madagascar. It's one of the larger types of shifaka and can grow to around 1.8 feet or 57 centimeters tall, with a further 1.7 feet or 51 centimeters for the tail. With a weight of up to 14 pounds or 16 and a half kilos, they have white fur that, as the name would suggest, is silky to the touch, and their ears and faces can be pink, black, or a mixture of both. Now regarded as critically endangered, with fewer than 250 adults in the wild and none at all known to be in captivity, the main reason they're so unlikely to see is because of hunting by humans, both for their fur and for their meat. This has also made it difficult to study them, but we do know that they tend to collect in groups of up to nine individuals and will spend almost half the day resting in hidden places within their trees, around a quarter of their time feeding on leaves and seeds, and the rest of their day sleeping or socializing with others. They're able to make a number of different sounds, and the name Shifaka was actually given to them originally because it approximates the noise that they make that you'll often hear echoing through the treetops. Number 1. 
Bornean orangutan. Probably the most unique type of primate of all is the orangutan, and they're great apes that are native to Indonesia and Malaysia. There are three known species, the Sumatran orangutan, the Tapanuli orangutan, and this one, the Bornean orangutan, which is found on the island of Borneo in two Malaysian states and four Indonesian ones. Measuring up to 5.6 feet or 1.7 meters long and weighing up to 220 pounds or 100 kilos, they're the third largest of the apes and easily the largest one that primarily lives in trees. You'll recognize one as soon as you see it, from the long arms to the reddish coat and their distinctive hair-free face. Preferring to keep to the rainforests, they are fairly solitary animals and will only interact with one or perhaps two others whose territory overlap with theirs. Amazingly, they're known to eat more than 400 different types of food from leaves, seed, and eggs to insects, spider webs, and fungi, and have been seen using tools for a variety of things. They can fashion spears, for example, to try to catch a fish, and have also been seen to use leafy branches as bee swatters, leaves to help pick up spiky fruit, and even leafy branches as umbrellas when it's raining. With around 105,000 thought to be in the wild, they're classified as being critically endangered, but are undoubtedly one of the most incredible and precious animal species that you'll find anywhere on Earth. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.